Before we start this video off, I'd like to add an apology. The audio didn't sound great throughout the whole video. Sometimes it'll sound okay, other times it won't. I'm not sure why. I also did have a camera set up as well so that I would have a face cam during the video, but it recorded at 3 FPS and there was some sort of issue with the camera. So just bear with me here and get through the video as it's just a plain screen. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your friends list back from Snapchat after your account has been banned. Now I've had recent success with another video where I showed you how you could download your data from Snapchat and get all of your memories back. But a lot of people have had a lot of questions about it and some people have even had some issues with it. But if you're able to download your data, then you're able to get your friends list back. So it doesn't matter what you're on Windows, Mac OS, as long as you're on a computer, this is completely doable. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to go through the Snapchat chat download my data process again if you've seen the other video if not you're new to this but uh there will be timestamps in the description of the video and then you'll be able to find how to get your friends list back okay so starting off i'm just going to open microsoft edge which is the web browser that i have installed on this computer again it doesn't matter if you're on mac os or windows you can use microsoft edge safari firefox whatever your preferred browser is and then you're going to want to start by going to accounts.snapchat.com and then from here, it's gonna give you a screen that's gonna prompt you to log in. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is fill out your information and then click log in. After you get here, you can just go ahead and click on my data. Then you can scroll down and you'll get to this page. Now, I would recommend not worrying about this filter your export by date range. This is just so that if you want to download memories or data from a certain date range, for example, a week ago from today to now, then you could, but I always just turn that off and I download everything. Once you fill out the form, go ahead and press submit request and then it will send you an email with a copy of your data. Sometimes this process can take up to 24 hours, although it usually doesn't, just be patient and the email should come through. Uh, we have had issues where people haven't been getting the data emails, so if that happens, go ahead and log back into your Snapchat account through accounts.snapchat.com and then change your email address to a different one and try that. We've had success with a couple of people doing that. Once you get the email, you'll download a folder called My Data and it will look something like this. So what you're going to want to do if you're on Windows is you're going to want to click on it, right click on it, click Extract and then you'll get this little window that will say extract files. So just go ahead and click extract, wait for the extract to complete, and then after that, you'll be presented with this folder that will open up. Now, if you're on Mac OS, it will automatically do this for you so you don't have to worry about it at all. Now, whenever you get into this folder, you're gonna wanna click on HTML, and then you're gonna wanna look for where it says friends, and then double click on it. And then it will bring you to a screen that shows all of your friends. So it shows their display name, their usernames, and everything that you need. So now if maybe you're just borrowing someone's computer, you can always use your phone and take a video of you scrolling through this so that you can re-add people on a new account on a separate device. Or you can just save this, put it in a Word document. Uh, basically, you can do whatever you want with it. You could even just take pictures of it with your phone if that works for you. But uh, thank you for joining. I hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next one.